Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great today. Lee Godbold, Junk Removal Authority. Uh, you can check us out at junkremovalauthority.com. Providing uh, complete business packages, training, consulting, call center, AdWords management, search engine optimization, building websites, and basically trying to do as much, uh, add as much value to the entire junk remo removal industry as we possibly can. Uh, and Junk Doctors is our junk removal company that we started seven years ago. We built it up to uh, a couple million dollars a year in revenue. And this time of year is normally kind of slow. Holy crap, we're busy as can be. We, um, we're, we're, one, we're down two trucks right now. So we had one truck got wrecked uh, back in December. We've placed an order on a new vehicle. Um, so, but, it, but they're like, it's like, I don't know, we got another six weeks before we get that vehicle. Uh, we took down another truck because we did get slow for about a week and February is normally one of the slowest months of the year. So we took down another truck to put an engine in it. It was about wore out. And um, it, uh, it, we're also going to paint it. So we're going to strip it down. We're going to get it painted. We're going to get it looking good. So uh, we, it, it's, it's, uh, it's down and out right now. And then we get, we, I don't know, we got a ton of bagsters that have come in from waste management. We've got a ton of residential jobs. We've got a property that's got two mobile homes that needs to be, uh, to, uh, the stuff, this, that stuff needs to be torn down and removed. Our schedule's completely full. And it's at the point where it's like, damn, you know, if people call for same day service, we always wanna be able to do same day service. I don't know if we're gonna make it happen. You know, so we always tell our call center guys, schedule it, if it's gotta go today, schedule it. We're, we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure out one way or another how to do it. Um, but it's like, oh man, if they can't, if they got to go today, it's going to be tough to, to, to fit it in. So, but uh, you would miss out on 15% of our jobs are same day. Um, at least 15%. We estimate 15%. And of those, we estimate 15% have to go the very same day. So sometimes we schedule same day jobs that, you know, they probably could have gone a different day, but it, it, we had gaps in our schedule we were trying to fill or whatever, but about 15% of them, uh, call us up and it's got to go right now. If you can't go right now, we're going to another competitor. So we got to find a way to fit it in. Uh, we got one new truck on order. I think we're going to go and place an order for a second truck. We are now selling trucks as well. We sell the Isuzu NRR trucks with a junk removal authority body on them. It is a six week turnaround time at the moment. We're going to try and get it down to four weeks and that's everything. So, so we've partnered with a dealer to get a truck at an awesome price and the body at an awesome price as well. Um, if you need truck bodies, uh, just let us know. But we're, we're ramping up. So last year, um, last year we grew, Junk Doctors grew something like 15 or 20% low, low growth. But I tell you what we did is we really focused in on our own search engine optimization. Uh, we, got, we got all the resources in the world with JRA right now. I mean, we got great SEO professionals in here doing wonderful jobs for everybody else. And the junk doctor stuff had gotten a little bit neglected. So we're like, you know, we just basically uh, started junk doctors, hired JRA to do SEO stuff so we could really do a really good job with it. And it's, um, it, it's our business is, it, it's jacked right now. So we've had some good weather. That helps. Weather really affects uh, junk removal, extremely affects junk removal. So next week we're supposed to get some, some rain. I'm sure we'll be slower, which is which is actually, I mean, it's not okay, but it is okay, if you know what I mean, uh, because we got some trucks we got to get ready. And, uh, you know, rain, uh, rain will slow us some down around here. It especially slows us down if it's several days in a row, and it looks like it could be several days in a row. Normally, one day doesn't affect us too much. I mean, North Carolinians, we're used enough to rain, and, you know, people don't go too crazy about it unless it's supposed to be a really bad storm. Now, snow, on the other hand, People just freak out about snow, so snow just wrecks our schedule. If we ever get any little bit of snow, it just wrecks our schedule around here because um, people just freak out about it. California, in California, if it rains, people in California react to rain like North Carolinians do snow. So you're going to be slow. Um, junk removal is cyclical. Uh, it, it, there's times where you just can't hardly keep up. In our experience, um, whenever we go through slow times, slow periods, uh, it comes back hard, 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 hard. So, um, especially like if you're in a busier time of the year and you have a slow week or maybe slow two weeks, like sometimes July can have a little bit of a down, down tick every so often. It just comes back and you just get hammered. You get absolutely hammered with, with work. So the work hasn't gone anywhere. 
what it's it's just people they it's delayed when the state fair comes into town state fair will be a little slower to the week of the state fair everybody comes on back so um the key to it is to have the trucks and the people able to keep up with the with the demand because what sucks is that when you don't have the trucks and you do not have the people when you get slow all that business when it comes back all at once these people want it done all at once if you don't have the trucks and the capacity to take it then that's going on to some other competitor so some of the best advice I can possibly give you is to uh, purchase equipment and hire people before you a little bit before you really need them, and that's going to force you to do to make the swings you need to uh, become you know to get the the point where you fill that schedule up and those trucks are rolling and, and those people are are having productive hours. Um, in the meantime, when they're when when you're through a slow period, you're not having paid work. Have you guys go volunteer at a local charity. Um, you know, uh, at a drop-off center for a charity or whatever, help them kind of move stuff around. Heck, volunteer for Habitat Humanity, help them build a house, you know, get your business card out there, get known, have them put flyers out. You know, Got Junk puts on the blue wigs and they and they wait and they put, they do the banners, they do the wave, what do they call that? The wave, the wig wave or something. So you get creative with your people, but go ahead and get those people. You got you, you to commit yourself uh, to, to filling the schedule up. And the only way to do that is to kind of not have a backup plan. So yesterday I was talking with a group to a group of high school entrepreneurs at the, at uh, apex high school. And that was one of the advice. Some of the advice I gave them is, is so many people, they get into business and they want to have a backup plan or an exit strategy. If you ever go, if you ever went to, um, Hey, took a high school or college business class, one of the things they always talk about is what's your exit strategy. And that's a bunch of BS. You shouldn't have an exit strategy. You should be full steam ahead, focused on success. You should not consider the possibility that you're going to fail. You shouldn't look at an exit strategy because then that's going to introduce self-doubt. That gives you the po that gives you an out. You don't want an out. You want, you want to get your back up against the wall if you have to, and you just fight through it. You know You don't want there to be an exit door that you can walk out of. You want to have to go forward. You want to have to fight through the obstacles that you're going to have in front of you. Um, another little tidbit a bit of that I'll tell people is, uh, you, you know, and I've said this a bunch, you got to control your emotions. Um, junk removal isn't like, you know, some bits, there's some businesses out there that have unlimited demand at any point. They're not cyclical. People want it all the time. Uh, if you're if you're in the alcohol business, people want alcohol all the time. You know, if you're selling alcohol, if you're in a liquor store, people are going to want liquor no matter what the weather is. There's going to be certain times of year they might buy more. Uh, you know, certain events they might buy more. Super Bowl, uh, Christmas, you know, uh, New Year's. You know, you're going to sell a little bit more, but for the most part, you got pretty even demand. Jug removal is not the case. It's weather dependent, and it's dependent on people selling homes. Real estate market slows down, so. Um, in the winter, so you're going to slow down some in the winter, even if you're in California. Um, you'll drive yourself absolutely batshit crazy if you try and, and monitor and if you're worried, if you get excited because you have a really good day and you get depressed because you have a bad day. You, you're going to kill yourself. There's no way possible. You're looking too short-term of a deal. Junk removal is not a short-term business. You are not going to make a short-term killing in junk removal. If you want to make a, a short-term killing, go to Colorado and sell weed, uh, you know, and, you know, for why you can, why it's legal. Um, uh, you know, it's probably going to get legal uh, in more places, but the federal government might crack down on it. But, you know, that, that's a good, great way to make short-term short gains. Junk removal isn't it. With junk removal, you're looking to build a long-term sustainable business that grows year over year, and you can have some rapid growth year over year. I mean, you can get double. You can double your first four or five years in operation. But, um, and, you know, and you could advertise extremely hard. You can throw tons and tons of money into Google AdWords and SEO and, uh, you know, just max out that, and that's going to that's gonna help you out short term. You might not, you know, your profits might not be there. You might not have great profits, but that's going to help you out short term. It's going to help you long term to build a great business. But then you start, if you start getting into, if you've maxed out Google Ads and you want to spend money on other stuff, Facebook advertisements, uh, billboards, whatever else, that's branding. Branding is going to take time. So, this video, I'm going all over the place. So hopefully I'll find some value. If you didn't find value at the beginning of the video, maybe find it in the middle. If you don't find it at the end, maybe it's in the middle. If it's not in the middle, maybe it's at the end or at the beginning. So I'm going all over the damn place with this video. But 
I got a lot of things been going on this week. Been a hell of a week, you know, with JRA, man. It's like, bam, one thing after another. I'm meeting, 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 meeting. I spoke to the high schoolers, and we had a meeting, meeting, meeting. We got a proposal coming. We're doing some stuff for a car wash company. Now, a friend of mine owns a chain of car washes. We're doing some for car washes. So, um, you know, car wash might be something we eventually expand out into. Uh, do the same thing we're doing with JRA. We just we create a car wash division. We hire people specifically for car washes, and then we just blow out our advertising into car washes if we prove it on this. So um, I had a lot of stuff kind of coming in right now, and then I want to just kind of give give my thoughts on it. So, guys, you got to control your emotions. You're just going to go, you will, you will go absolutely batshit crazy if you get excited, really excited on the good days, and if you get depressed on the bad days. You're going to have to have a professional, even-keeled approach to this. You want to grow. You want to grow fast. You do want to grow as fast as possible, but you cannot... Um, I'm not going to, I don't like the unreasonable in the world I'm looking for. I want you to be unreasonable in your growth, but you need to also have um, a long-term viewpoint on this business. You're not going to get rich quick in junk removal. Uh, you're not going to, you're not going to blow got junk out of the water in your market in a year or in two years or even probably even three years. Now, maybe by year four, depending on your market and how hard you advertise, because some got junks, they've gotten lazy. Got junk entrepreneurs, they're just taking their check. You know, they don't they don't care about the business anymore. They got a manager running it, they hardly pay any attention to it. But you've got to realize that there's some outside forces that affect how busy you are and how slow you are. And you're gonna die, you're gonna die at age 40 of a heart attack if you try and monitor everything day by day. So um I hope y'all, everybody, find a little value in this. This is, I don't even know what the hell I'm going to title this video. What the hell do you title this video? I've gone from how busy we were, or how busy you are right now to slow season to controlling your emotions to spending money to make a commitment. i gone all over the damn place today. I don't care, man. It's what, what a hell of a day it is today. Just uh, great, great weather we're having outside. It's a little cooler, but just excellent weather. Um, what else did I do today? I, was, I, I went, I, uh, so far, it's, hell, it's only noon. I'm about to go get lunch with a friend. Uh, and then uh, went, went, saw Christian this morning. Christian was at a job at a shopping center. Actually, we posted this video on the channel, and uh, he removed a sign. Bobcats, y'all should get a bobcat. If you do any type of demolition work at all, get a bobcat. It's $500, $550 a month is what we pay. It comes with a grapple bucket. Brand new $65,000 machine we lease. Then we did a five-year lease period, $550 a month. That thing makes us tenfold that amount of money. It's crazy how much money that makes. And then we get that thing for a month. If you go rent a Bobcat for two days, you're at 550. Rent, just go make a commitment, lease the damn thing, get it to work. There's gonna be jobs you wouldn't rent a Bobcat for that if you already have one, you'd use one on. Charge the customer, 300 bucks to get the Bobcat out there. They normally pay it, and you're gonna save money on labor fees. Things are gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna do a much more professional job. You're not gonna cuss as much. Um, so that's a great way to go. So get you a Bobcat. Again, that goes back to hiring people and buying trucks before you need it, you're forcing yourself to fill that schedule. When you get that Bobcat, you're going to force yourself to be able to use that thing. Uh, hell of a lot of fun to run, dude. You know, I just enjoy just getting on the thing and just knocking crap around. Um, Christian's awesome in it. You know, I'm, I'm not as smooth as he is. You know, I can fly the hell out of an airplane. I can do the hell out of an airplane. But he, he runs that Bobcat just smooth. He's fast, extremely fast. That's hard to do on a Bobcat, be really fast and smooth. He's got it down pat. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off right here. I got some other stuff I could talk about. Uh, public speaking, I enjoy that. I'm going to start doing a lot more public speaking. Uh, I, I, I do get a little nervous. You know, I, I do get a little nervous doing it. It was just like, I don't know, it was 40 high schoolers. Um, but uh, I've already, we've got another event, another high school I'm going to do. I was down there at the 10X Growth Con, 35,000 people. My goal is in two years to be on that stage. Two years, I want to be speaking in front of 35,000 people, or hell, maybe it's 70,000 people by Might then. Might be 70,000 people down there, you know, by then. And I think by then we're going to have a really vi viable product and service um, that's going to be extremely valuable to people. So hope to be on that 10X stage in two years from now. I'm going to do a bu bunch of public speaking just so I get used to it. And uh, yeah, keep posting these videos too. I guess that helps. So, hey, Junk Removal Authority, check us out, junkra.com, 919-617-1975. Again, I'm sorry. I'm 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 rambling this morning. Somebody put was it the Almond Brothers? Is that the Rambling Man? Who's who's is it? I think it's the Almond Brothers. Hell, I don't know. Let me quit talking. Uh, just kind of rambling along. Hope y'all found some value. If we can ever help you out, please call us. Call us. Call us. Call us. Nobody in junk removal is going to do a better job at SEO 
or Google Ads management than us. You, if you're brand new to the business, for $10,000, a $10,000 business package, you can have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of knowledge, operations manuals, video training and testing series, a year's worth of consulting. It's just crazy what we can do. We're happy to do it. We're excited. We're pumped up. We're fired up. We're ready to help you. 919-617-1975, JuckRemovalAuthority.com.